the next one <laughs> is a corollary uh, that is uh, related to very uh, related to this this theorem, which says that if f is a continu if if f is a continuous function, and x n converges to x in probability, then f f x n converges to f x uh, in probability, and if, if if f is bounded, then the expected value converges to uh, the, the expected value of f x n converges to the expected value of f x. So we're gonna prove that. Uh, so we're gonna use the theorem above that we just saw. Um, so if x n converges to x in probability, then any subsequent x n m has a further subsequent converge to x almost surely. And because f is continuous, so the f x m k converges to f x almost surely. So so uh, so every subsequence there's a f uh, there's a further subsequence that converges almost surely. Uh, by the theorem above, uh, again, we know uh, fx and converge to x in probability. Uh, and since, uh, since every subsequent x m k converge to x almost surely, uh, and f is bounded, uh, by the bounded convergence theorem, we know that expected value fx and m k converge to fx, uh, and r is complete a metric space, so we know that fx m minus uh, xm converged to fx. So that's the proof of the corollary. Uh, 